there two cola people tribe what's going on today we are so excited we got chris hendricks on the line we're going to be talking to him about noir investments guys it's going to be a wonderful conversation about money you want to pay attention because i'm telling you there's some stuff that you don't know that you need to know and i'm going to ask him all the hard questions and he's going to give all the good answers so pay attention what's up chris how you doing today hey what's up catrice how's life treating you i'm doing well all is well all is well so we're gonna dig right into this okay let's talk about it for a minute so tell me a little bit about noir investments what does it actually do yeah so noir investment group uh i want to give a shout out first to our officer team the members that have been there for a while and our founder uh miss moni caress hudson um who was the actual originator of this and 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 kind of woman-led investment initiative uh and when she first launched the idea of this i actually was there at the table early because it aligned with a lot of the principles and things that i was interested in doing and was uh ready to roll the ball for it so she's been a great uh, partner and team lead ceo for the organization so noir itself is a club of like-minded individuals who are practicing group economics uh, and learning investment principles at the same time so we are focused on uh, investing together and growing our knowledge in the various markets, whether it's the stock market, we're dealing with the NASDAQ, we're dealing with the Dow Jones, we're learning about the S&P 500, right? We're learning about ETFs and stocks and bonds and securities. Uh, so it is designed to be an African-American organization focused on investing and teaching those principles so that the individuals that are part of it can then actually go and spread that knowledge within their own families and grow the wealth of the community because we can't do anything without money in this world and it's very important that we understand how to take care of our money so those are kind of some of the foundational principles without getting into very specifics but we are all about investing practicing that group investing uh, model and we've been doing that for Right now, we just finished our fourth season. So we just met the other day and we have just ended four years of investing together with over $20,000 in assets and group investing. So I think it's a great milestone as we enter year five. So it's a great time. Wow. So almost five years you guys been doing this. Yes. That's, yep. That's really good. Okay. So as a, um, as a Noir investor, what is your position? My position, so I currently sit as president of the organization. So you would think of me as like a COO. So I run operations within the war. Uh, we have a vice president uh, position. We have a secretary position. We have a treasurer position. So this is a registered organization with the state. So fully functional LLC. So we operate as a full true entity because you know, when black people start talking about money, listen here, we be talking about our money and we be wanting to know where our money at. So we got a full transparent organization designed and focused around being held accountable uh, and legal and kind of following all the guidelines as a investment club should. So how do you train people when it comes to like some of the investments? Give, give me some ideas of how the training takes place. Yeah, sure thing. So a lot of investing knowledge is transferred by word of mouth and actually seeing things in action. Right. So it's, it's one thing to go watch a YouTube video, right? You can watch a YouTube video and literally learn about anything, but it's the consistent track of knowledge that helps you understand what's actually happening. And really it just boils down to you learning definitions, right? So when we meet in our club meetings, one of the things we do is sometimes uh, we have what we call a new war knowledge uh, nugget or a segment, and we'll share some knowledge or information link and things of that nature. In those meetings as well, you're exposed to a lot of different people who come from different backgrounds, who've researched different stocks, and they understand different elements of the market, right? When it comes to a business's ROI, right? Or their uh, income statement or their profit and loss statement. Like you have to know how to research those things. And we've had people from varying walks of life with varying knowledge levels. And so what we do is we, we stick to the basics and what we call our education portfolio. We focus on the basics of stocks and we actually share that knowledge in those meetings. So by you attending those meetings, you have the ability to learn from a wide variety of people. Some people in the past we've had that have been accredited investors. We've got some people that are millionaires and we've got some people that are right? hundred years, right? Very little, but they're investing and they're growing in the knowledge. And the knowledge is the most precious piece of this club because the knowledge allows you to go and then do for yourself. Wow. That's phenomenal. Okay. So here's a question because I was in a black investment group at one point in time. And then 
um, we had other people join the group and the next thing you know, it was a scam. How are you guys avoiding that situation from happening? Because sometimes when you have something, people, they start looking at stuff and then they're, they're how, how do you keep from that happening is the question. Yeah, sure thing. I think it's about following legal principles and laws, right? So we have uh, accountant and bookkeeper do our books, right? And file our taxes for us. We have legal registration in the state of Florida, right? We follow the SEC guidelines when it comes to a club. And there are differences between a club and then an organization that is going to be registered as a public entity with the SEC. We operate as a club and we follow those guidelines set by the SEC and then being registered in the state of Florida. So we're following those guidelines and keeping uh, that data present in, in our terms and conditions, right? One of the things that actually helps us stay accurate is dealing with what the SEC says, the differences between a club and a private equity organization that is raising funds that needs to be registered. And one of the differences is members, right? So a club requires um, members to be present and voting, right? Whereas a private equity group, that would be what you would call uh, an organization that has um, active investors and passive investors, right? So uh, the active investors would raise money from a pool of people and those are limited partners, right? Those money, the people who give money are limited partners. That means they're not participating in the investing. They're not doing anything other than giving their money and waiting for a return, right? You might do that with your 401k or if you have a financial advisor, you put money into a bucket. They're registered um, Series 66, Series 67 um, financial um uh, financial um, institution, right? They have they have paperwork, right, for that. That's not us. We are a club. That means everyone has to be present. And when you're not present, we have proxy votes. And we're trying to get everyone present. We have accountability for who's there and who's not. And every once in a while, we got to go purge the books. We got to get people off the roster because that's how we stay legal, right? Is if you're not participating, this isn't a fund where you just go throw your money in and then you wait at the end of the year and then you get some money back out, right? You have to be present. You have to be accountable, right? Because that's why it's a club versus someone that is tied to a, a, a publicly registered SEC organization that might look like a private equity group or a hedge fund. Those are companies that have active uh, partners and limited partners, right? Active partners are those that are there actively trading, uh, investing and doing the work. And then the limited partners are just donating money, right? To the organization, right? They have a say, but they are limited in what they can do and can't. And that's the difference between a club, right? That can stay private and stay legal versus an organization that goes above and needs to be registered with the SEC. So I can't speak to the organization that you are part of, but I can speak to what we're doing to stay clean above board and in the good graces of both the SEC and the state of Florida. Who can join your organization? It's a great question. So literally almost anybody can join the organization, right? Um, this primary portfolio that we have right now is a portfolio designed for African-Americans to teach African-Americans how to invest. So that's kind of one limiting factor there is a, um, this portfolio is geared towards African-Americans so that they can learn to invest in a safe space. We are working on a portfolio that we're going to launch that will actually be open to anyone. That's going to be a different portfolio because it's designed to be interactive with a larger audience. This particular portfolio is geared around African-Americans learning how to invest. And they can do that for as little as $25 a month. And that's their money, their investment unit at $25 a month. And so whenever they graduate to another fund or graduate up to another level, that's their money. They take their money with them. So if the portfolio has prospered, anything that has grown in the portfolio that's a part of their investment, they take that with them. That's phenomenal. Wow. Okay. So, okay, now, with that being said, um, are you guys a 501c3 as a club or are you just a club that's an LLC? We are not a nonprofit organization. That's something we are looking to possibly create a nonprofit to do other things like scholarships and then to do money giveaways. Um, right now, we've actually toyed with the idea of actually pooling a different set of resources together to actually create a yearly scholarship. So right now, we're focused on the members, and we exist primarily as a registered business in the state of Florida as an LLC, but not as a nonprofit. How can someone join your organization? Great question. So it's simply, it's as simple as going to our website, newwarinvest.com. 
You can click the button that says become a guest. You can come and join us at any of our meetings that you wish. Uh, we have an open meeting discussion, so you'll get to see all the data that happens, right? We go over our treasurer's report. We go over our stock picks, right? We go over all of that in discussion, and it's open to all members. So as you're joining as a guest, you'll be able to participate in just about everything except for both voting is reserved for members, those who are uh, attributing their investment units to the actual decision making that is going on. So that is the limited factor there. But otherwise, for that meeting, you can pretty much participate in everything else. But it's as simple as going to N-O-I-R-E, New War with the E, invest, I-N-C-E-S-T-S dot com. And at the top of the website, you'll, simple, you'll see a button that says Be Our Guest. That's as simple as it takes to be our guest. You can join us for one of our club meetings. You'll get to meet the officers and actually hang out with us. Or if you'd like to have a, a conversation with us offline or outside of that meeting, you can just click the connect button at the top and one of our officers will connect with you and uh, set up a meeting with you to kind of discuss any interests or questions you may have about our organization. Okay, so um, I know that you will do a lot of training for your members. Do you do any training for people that are not members? Great question. Yeah, we do. We actually have within our motto, within our mission statement, an actual focus on education. And I am pulling that up right now uh, to kind of talk to you about some of the things we've done. What we typically do, in fact, is actually each quarter we'll meet uh, in the public. Uh, we typically meet out at uh, Tommy's uh, 1215 North. Shout out to Mr. Tommy uh, White, Ms. Tracy White, right? Another black owned business, right? They uh, also are members of the War Investment Group. And what we do is we typically meet there at their event center. Um, and then we actually um, have an open forum where we discuss ideas and TED style talks around investment topics. Uh, so we'll talk about everything from high yield savings account to deep dive into uh, dividend investing or growth fund investing, right? So depending on what the topic or the flavor of the month is, we've talked about taxes in the past. So we do those and those are open to the public because we use those as a public interest to train the community, but also look for new members as well. So we're open also to come to your environment, your church, your meeting group, and actually discuss the investing topics and the needs that you have for training. So we're well established as a public supporting organization. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Summer, join the Lemonade Stand Boot Camp, a transformative program for disadvantaged youth unlocking the path to financial literacy and economic empowerment. It's been proven that when people have the tools needed to become financially stable, they are more likely to invest in their future. A passionate group of Black business leaders and entrepreneurs have united with a common goal to uplift the knowledge and the mindset of the underprivileged. Starting with our youth, through education, encouragement, and empowerment, we're providing Providing the knowledge needed to build legacies and become financially free business owners. But we can't do this alone. If you would like to contribute as a volunteer, sponsor, or simply by donating, please visit www.lemonadestandbootcamp.com or call 850-361-8829. Be a part of the solution. Be the bootstraps. Contact us today. Bantu Cola, the heartbeat of the black community. We're not just a directory, but we're the largest black directory on the Gulf Coast. We're your trusted source for black business news and a hub for thriving black businesses. 
We stand as a staunch advocate championing the rights of black businesses, steadfastly ensuring they receive fair treatment. We actively engage with and address political issues that impact both the black community and black business enterprises. Join Bantu Cola, where our mission is to rebuild, revive, and recondition our community. Let's spread black wealth and reshape our futures together. Bantu Cola, where information meets empowerment. Bantu Cola. Be black, buy black, think black. For more information, go to bantucola.com. And we are back. Thank you again for um, talking with us, Chris. I'm looking forward to us having the rest of this conversation about Noir Investments. So do you have any partners that you um, are per currently working with? Yeah, we actually work with partners all the time. Uh, a few I want to shout out, of course, Bantu Cola and Lemonade Sand Bootcamp. Thank you so much for being a partner with us, even as far back as our financial summit. Um, I also like to shout out um, Pensacola Network of Black Professionals. In fact, at that same financial summit, they were the hands and feet that helped make everything run so smoothly. So I appreciate them so much for what they did there. Uh, we also have uh, Snowbus Bank, who we've recently partnered with to put on a, uh, a forum. So uh, Mr. Griffin, a few others there at the bank. I don't want to get into calling names because I'll definitely miss names. Um, but uh, thank you all for doing what you do because you've made our life better. And we're open to meeting uh, and partnering with new partners uh, and others. Right. Our goal is to build a community um, and actually help increase the financial literacy of the community, because if we can take care of ourselves financially, then we can do many, many wonderful things. So we are open to partnerships, new partnerships and to educate the community on finances and investing. Why would someone other than the fact of them learning about financial literacy want to be a part of your organization? Yeah, I think number one, it's camaraderie uh, in the community of like minded people to push you towards goals that are similarly minded. Right. A lot of times we find in life that we meet with people uh, and we have different goals. And so sometimes those are more like associates. Right. And we have people who are in our lives that um, really are there, but they're, we're not on the same page at all. And maybe those are assignments, right? They're there for a season, right? They're to help you refine yourself and teach you something, right? So that you can be a better person, right? Or maybe they're actually even becoming a better person, even rubbing against you wrong, right? Uh, and then there are those who are friends, right? At another level, because there's a lot of what you do that 75, that 80, that 90, that 95% grind is very similar. And what New War is going to get you is people from varying walks of life, varying living arrangements, right? We have singles, we have marriage, we have people who are later in life, we got people who are earlier in life. But in that, these are all people walking towards a financial future that shows them as being independent. And those same people are also very interested in the legacy that they leave behind. So when you're talking about people and the benefits, it's people who are interested in building a legacy, people who are interested in making a lasting impression on the people around them and focus on building their community. So if those are things that you're into. I think the war is a perfect place for you because that's the focus that we're on is building and spreading that financial literacy education. So the friends, the benefits, the, the wonderfulness, the hangout, the culture of giving as well as learning, right? Um, it's all there built into this club atmosphere. Wonderful. Oh my God. We have fun as well. We have fun. We smile. <laughs> <laughs> we hang out. We do some cool stuff from time to time as well. Cool. Okay. So you have I'm not just doing stuff with money, but you also have a good time as far as relationship building as well. Absolutely. That's good. That's wonderful. So is there anything that you think that we need to know that I have the question that I have not asked? Um, so I think the first thing is to know that financial literacy is something that takes time, right? Depending on the walk of life that you've come from, how much you read, how much you know about investing already, how well money was handled in your family, it's going to determine how fast you can start moving with gaining and investing well, right? Investing is all about risk. And there has to be a culture of understanding and educating yourself so that you're not gambling right not gambling is important investing for the long term is the default right you're going to see a lot of gurus you're going to see a lot of people who are going to tell you how to get rich quick this is not that 
right? Mm -hmm. Investing for your financial success and your financial future is going to take a little bit of time so that you can actually gain the knowledge, the foundations that are necessary to go into a culture that you may not have been a part of in the past. Um, one of the things that's really cool is if you're not someone who's done a lot of camping, right? I'll take uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, for instance, uh, or even sports, right? Um, uh, but if you've been in Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, you have an idea of things that you might need to do to be survival, right? There's a language around that of things that you need to do, right? And how to survive in the wild, right? How to handle yourself with a knife, how to actually start a fire, how to actually you know, protect yourself from the elements. There's language and there's knowledge that's built into that, inherent into that, into that domain. And in every domain of your life, right, uh, in the kitchen, if you don't know how to cook, you don't know how to cook, right? But then when you start to learn how to use oils and spices, right, and rubs, right, to tenderize meat or cook and saute vegetables, right? It's a language, it's a culture around how to be successful in cooking, right? I can learn how to cook and scramble some eggs, right? I can do that, right, and be successful. But that doesn't mean I know how to cook and actually throw down and put your, put my foot in it like grandma them used to do, right? Okay. And so there's a language and there's a culture around that. That same thing applies when it comes to investing. There's a language and a culture around that. And what this club gives you is it gives you the ability to be immersed in that language, immersed in that culture, and watch people doing those things that are just like you, right? They come from the same communities you do. They have the same job type experiences that you do. They've had some successes that you've had. They've had some failures that you've had. They've had same family dynamics that you've had, and yet they are moving towards that success. And hopefully, hopefully they give you a picture of what it looks like to go to that other side, to be immersed in that culture, to be immersed in that language, so that you can see yourself there joining them. And in a short period of time, you will have that embedded in yourself and you will be a better investor in planning your financial success as well. So I applaud you. Join us, hang out with us, be a guest. That is, um, when I say, I'm just like, I'm, I'm floored by that information. Like that is, we don't get enough of that. And we need that. Because, listen people, we, Everyone is always talking about how we need to work together. The best way to work together is with money. Um, group economics is one of the most powerful things that a, a community can, can do with one another. So if you are interested in learning about money, finances, and you don't want to take a class, you don't want to go through the whole hardship, I would implore you to be a part of this organization because you'll get what you need and you don't have to work as hard, but you'll still get the information that's necessary. Um, Chris, thank you so much for coming by and talking to us about this. Is there any way that we can, if someone can reach out and just touch you um, when it comes to getting more information about New Orleans? Yeah, simply, the simplest thing to do is go to our website, neworinvest.com, and then hit the connect form. That'll put you directly in contact with a quick email. You can follow us on social media at neworinvest, and then reach out to us there. Or simply just hit us up with an email at our Gmail address, neworinvest.gmail.com. Excuse me, neworinvestmentgroup at gmail.com. Thank you again, Chris, for um, talking with us. Listen, if you want to advertise your business and get your information out on Banshee Polar Showcase, the Black Showcase, I promise you, you can. Just contact us at bc at banshee.com, and we'd be more than happy to get exactly in contact with you to talk about how you can get your business showcased on Chris, thank you again for your time. Thank you for allowing us to speak and have that conversation. We're going to be talking more and more with you about money, I promise. Let's do it, let's do it. Um, again, guys, if you're talking with us on Facebook, let us know. If you'd like to go to the at this time, 